Hello guys! Today we are going to explain personal pronouns used as a subject. Firstly, what is a subject? We have a sentence here, John is playing. Who is playing? John. John is our subject. Here we have our eight pronouns. The first one is I, second you, so the person I am talking to. We have he, the person I am not talking to and he is not hearing me. And he is a male. She, the person I am not talking to and she is not hearing me and is a female and it is used for animals or things. For the next part, I need some help. Nick, can you please help me? The next pronoun is we, so me and Nick. Then we have you, Nick and his friends, but I am talking to right now. And they, Nick and his friends, but I am not talking to right now and they are away from me. That's about personal pronouns. Thank you, Nick. Next part we are going to explain is verb to be. One of the most important verbs in English. And let's explain something before we continue with its conjunction. It is an irregular verb. It means that the form it has is different to all other verbs that you know in English. So let's start with the conjunction of it. Firstly, we have positive on positive sentences. Here we can use the personal pronouns that we learned before. So we have I, you, he, she, it, we, you and they. We use them to conjugate the verbs. So the verb to be is I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. We can use also a contraction form of them. We can say am, um, your, his, she's, its, we're, your and their. So a contraction is when we make um, words shorter by putting an apostrophe. This is about positive, how you can use it in sentences. For example, you can say I am a teacher or you are a student, he is a doctor, sentences like this one. Okay, then we have the negative part. We can say I am not, so we just put not after the conjunction that we made uh, for positive sentences. Then it continues, you are not, he is not, she is not, it is not, we are not, you are not, they are not. And also the conjunction form here, I'm not, you aren't, he isn't, she isn't, it isn't, we aren't, you aren't, and they aren't. And at the end is also the interrogative form. We just change the places. So we put firstly the verb to be and then the personal pronoun. And it is like that. Am I? Are you? Is he? Is she? Is it? Are we? Are you? Are they? That's all about the interrogative part. So this is the verb to be. Let's learn another uh, difficult part of English, but it's very important. So possessive adjectives, what are they? They are adjectives that they are used to show ownership of something or in other words, something that belongs to you. And here we have them. I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, it, we, our, you, your, and they, their. Let's use them in a sentence. I have a skirt. 
By putting a possessive adjective, the sentence becomes like that. My skirt is green. So my is the possessive adjective. Where to put them into a sentence? They are always located in front of the noun they refer to, like here, my skirt, so in front of the noun skirt, or your car is new, before the noun car. Something that you must be very careful not to confuse is the use of it as a possessive adjective with the use of it as a contraction of it is. How to understand that? Now, let's take a sentence. The dog is eating its food. We have the subject, the dog, and it used as a possessive adjective in front of the noun, as we explained. Let's replace the subject, the dog, with a personal pronoun. In this case, it. And the sentence will be, it is eating its food. Let's make also a contraction of it is, so it plus is becomes it. The sentence is, it's eating its food. We have it, the subject of our sentence, so the dog, and it used as a possessive adjective to show ownership, so the food belongs to the dog. Now let's go to the next part. So next part is possessive S with apostrophe. When do we use it? To show a relationship of belonging between one thing and another. So let's learn how to put it. When we have nouns in singular, we simply add apostrophe and S. For example, the car of John, John's car. If we have nouns in plural that already have an S at their ending, we just put the apostrophe. For example, the room of the girls. It becomes girls' room. Something else that you must be careful is, for example, when we have names of people that have already an S at their ending, like Thomas or James, we can just put an apostrophe after the S or we can put apostrophe and another S. Now let's look at some cases where we can use the possessive S with apostrophe. As we have already explained, when talking about ownership, for example, John's car, if we want to talk about uh, the place we study, work or we spend time, for example, this is John's school, if we want to talk about a relationship between people, we can say John's mother. And here we have also some fixed expressions like a day's work, a month's pay, today's newspaper, in a year's time. We can use it also when we talk about shops or restaurants by using the name or the job title of the owner. For example, Shall we go at Luigi's for lunch? So Luigi's, it has the meaning the restaurant of Luigi. But briefly, by using the apostrophe and the S, we say Luigi's. Or for example, I have an appointment at the dentist's. Or I will take the flowers at the florist's. These are some examples of uh, sentences where we can use the possessive S with the apostrophe. So that was all about today. Where did she go? Please, please, subscribe to our channel or the giant butterflies will abduct her forever and I don't want to lose her.